Hey, and welcome to Pika. Pika is the infrastructure layer for all your integration needs. Whether you're building AI agents, allowing your customers to connect their integrations to your app, or simply adding integration logic to your SaaS app, Pika provides an end-to-end -end solution. Let's dive into the first product, AuthKit. Here I've got an app that has AuthKit installed in it. When I click on Add Connection, I have AuthKit configured to pop open my customer to connect to Google Calendar. Let's go ahead and do this. That easily, I was able to add multi-tenant AuthLogic into my app and collect my customer's Google Calendar connection. All it took was a little code in my backend and my front end of my app. You can set AuthKit up in five minutes, and we've got a video showing you how to do that. Now let's talk a little about building AI agents using Pika. Pika offers one tool, which is our tooling solution that works with every large AI provider to allow you to execute an action across any different integration. Pika's one tool is offered for Vercel's AI SDK, Langchain, supports Mastra, and works across anything you might need with any LLM provider. Here's a little demo using the app that we have here, the one tool chat demo. I'm going to go ahead and copy the connection key of the Google Calendar connection we made and head on into the code. As easy as this, I create a Pika client and I load one tool into the Vercel AI SDK. Here, I'm going to pass in the specific connection key because all of Pika's tools allow fine-tuned access for agents. This means you can specify what connections, actions, and permission level your agent has, so you don't have to worry about your agent executing actions that it doesn't have permissions to. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Very cool. Now another thing to remember is that Pika's one tool solves the tool calling hallucination problem, meaning no matter how many tools you provide and how many connections your agent has access to, you don't have to worry about hallucinations on agents picking the right tools to call. Now last but not least, let's dive into Pika's MCP server. You can think of Pika's MCP server as one MCP to rule them all. The MCP server has two primary functions, code generation and action executing. Let's talk a little about code generation. I've got the Pika MCP server installed in my cursor editor. I'm going to prompt it to create me a page that lists my Notion pages because I have Notion connected in Pika. Let's go ahead and give this a try. Here I can see all the pages that I've got in Notion easily visible in my table. That easily we added UI that integrated with Notion. You no longer have to dive through documentation and set up OAuth, that was super quick. Now let's talk about the other side of that, the MCP executing actions. I've got the Pika MCP server loaded into Cloud Desktop, and I'm gonna ask it to fetch two of my contacts from Adio, research them using EXA, and send a summary to Slack. And here we can see that Pika did everything we asked it to do. So if you're using Pika, integration headaches are a thing of the past. Focus on your business and let Pika handle all your integration logic. Happy building.